Monday evening. <clears throat> and uh, I'm back in the stand where I was Saturday morning. I've got Hondo with me. You can see it right there. My homemade bow. If I had, um, if I had my math, my my compound bow, uh, we'd already be eating venison burgers. But I committed to the old school challenge. So right now I've got two wild mountain goats that I believe have seen me during all my commotion. Their curiosity may bring them down here. And if it does, it is goat season in East Tennessee. They are a beautiful specimen. As you may or may not have saw on the video, miss number two, uh, right before the end of shooting light. I don't know if it picked up good on my camera or not. I uh, almost hope that it don't. <laughs> Pretty embarrassed. It's a perfect shot, 10 yards broadside, exactly what I've been practicing for all season. I thought, well, maybe my bow has lost a, a little zip. And it probably has lost some. Uh, but I just got through shooting it in my basement 10 yards just to see, you know, how it was doing. And, you know, other than being, a, you know, a couple inches low, um, everything else was good. I guess I'm just going to have to start aiming uh, mid-mass, going for just the kill zone rather than uh, shooting for that small little heart shot, anticipating my, my thought process is, that okay I'll hit the heart if they don't if they don't duck the arrow and if they do I'm gonna hit the lung but uh, two two times I've shot I've been right at, at belly line and uh, and neither neither deer has dropped so I'm probably gonna come up into the mid mass of the deer and uh, if I get another chance and see what happens then but you know I, I committed to the old school challenge I I thought I'd do better than what I've done, to be honest with you. I've shot that bow at least 400 times. I, I really thought that if I got one within 10 yards that it would be, uh, you know, it'd be easy. But as I'm finding out, it's not easy. And now it's kind of concerning me a little bit. So anyway, uh, day two of the old school challenge is in the books. Two days, two misses. Not a good start for the Sasquatch. All right, we're out.